All right, so hopping right into it. Let's first look at this high graded coin here. Now this one does not have any types of errors or anything. It's just solely valuable because of a high grade. It's graded at a mint state 68. It is the 1941D. So if you're not familiar with the Mercury dime, the D mint mark will be right there at the bottom or the S mint mark will be there right to the right of the E. So uh, right there to the left of the torch and to the right of the E, you will see that mint mark. Now this coin here sold for over $3,200 because of the high grade. If you're not familiar with coin grading, type in Couch Collectibles coin grading on YouTube and check out those videos. I will be doing another coin grading video here soon, so watch out for that as well. Next up, now this is what you really want to look for on your 1941 Mercury Dime. Get you a USB coin microscope on couchcollectibles.com and you will be able to see your coins up close like this. Now you want to look for doubling, so a double die obverse, a DDO. Look for that on all the lettering as well as on the date. Now if we look here at this one on the date, you can really see the doubling there and you really see it on all the lettering. I mean, look at the top of the T there on trust. Very, very visible doubling there. Now also look for that on the initials as well as look for doubling on the back, on the reverse of the coin. So you see that here on the lettering OF and you will also see that on the word America. So you can really see it there at the top of that R on America, that doubling taking place. So look for doubling, double die obverse and a double die reverse. Now this coin here actually has doubling on the front and the back. So it's got the DDO double die obverse and the double die reverse. So because of that and because of the high grade, this coin here sold for over $195. Now if we look at this coin, this is a 1941, you can tell that it's been circulated, it's not at a high grade, it's graded at a very fine 35, but it does happen to have that double die obverse on it. It's sold for a little over $25, so you go from a $25 coin to almost a $200 coin just because of the condition of the coin. Here is an amazing and very expensive coin. This is a 1941 dime, silver dime, that has a high grade and some amazing toning to it. Now this coin here, because of the high grade, sold for over $7,000. Now for the S mint mark, there is a large S, which we can see here, and a small S, which we can see here. So large S, small S, there's the difference between those. Now this is a 1941 proof before we move on to the S mint mark. Here is a 1941 proof graded at a proof 69. Again, some amazing toning to it. And this coin here sold for over $11,000 because of that high grade. Now, first, this is a 1941 small S that has a repunched mint mark. So if you wanna see your coins up close, like I said, get that USB coin microscope. Here is a few examples of that RPM on the S mint mark for the 1941 silver mercury dime. And that is super, super important because here is the 1941 S that has that RPM, that repunch mint mark. And this coin here sold for over $480. It also does have that high grade with it as well. Now you've seen that large S. Here's an example of a 1941 S that has the large S. It's graded at about uncirculated 53. So it's not uh, the highest grade. If it was a mint state condition, it would be a lot more valuable. This dime only sold for around $25. So nothing too valuable there. Also, don't forget to always look for the 1942 over the 1941 date. So I have a whole video on the 1942 Mercury Dime. Be sure to go check that out. You can see that two over the one and you see how the four is over the four. Really, really uh, would love, love to find something like that because they are super, super valuable. Now also for the 1941S, this is one without errors. So this coin here is just solely valuable because of the high grade and this dime sold for over $17,000. $17,000 Mercury dime. Let me know in the comments below right now what coin you want me to cover next and I will add it to my list of videos. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me and until tomorrow I'll see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.